So, okay, here's the thing. I've talked about a lot of important things in the history of this channel. Art, literature, mythology, Waluigi, but occasionally, among all the dramatic, serious content, I feel the need to step back, catch my breath, and make a video on an even more serious and important topic. So today, I'm going to be ranking mac and cheese box designs by how pretentious their color schemes are. Now, I know what you're going to ask, and the answer is, large and quadrupedal with one to two horns on its snout and a thick, mostly hairless hide. With that out of the way, let's get to the ranking. The most humble of all the mac and cheese box colors is white. A white box is, to be honest, a little too humble. It seems to entirely lack self-confidence of any kind. It almost suggests a sense of imposter syndrome, as if the box is saying, I'm not really worthy of being a blue box because blue mac and cheese boxes are for real mac and cheese. Listen, white mac and cheese box, I know it can be rough to compare yourself to bigger and more influential brands, but you need to understand that just because your store brand doesn't mean that you're any less good than any other brand. You're just as good as they are, and the sooner you realize that, the sooner you can gain the confidence you need in order to prosper, okay? Okay. Now, there's one exception to this particular ranking, and I'm going to be covering that exception a little later in the video, so stay tuned. A blue mac and cheese box is exactly the right balance of humility and confidence. It says, mac and cheese comes in a blue box. Yeah, I know I'm not craft brand, but I know what I am and you know what I am, so let's not mess around with color choice when you just want to eat some mac and cheese. It's the platonic ideal of mac and cheese. If you don't know what that means, here's a dramatic oversimplification that's probably going to irritate my sibling who has a doctorate in philosophy. Basically, in ancient Greece or Athens or Kentucky or something, there were these two dudes named Aristotle and Plato. Aristotle thought that the physical, tangible world was the real world, and Plato thought that the real world was this kind of abstract, conceptual, spiritual, theoretical world where everything existed in its purest state, and everything in the concrete world is just an imitation of the so-called real version. So to say something is the platonic ideal of something isn't necessarily saying that it's the best version, only that it's just the, like, most essential version. Like, with the platonic ideal of, say, a sword, it's the sword that the concept of a sword arises from, and all the other swords are imitations or semblances of. Anyway, that's what a blue mac and cheese box is. <laughs> Here's where we start to get to the ones that maybe think a little too highly of themselves. This box of mac and cheese is green. Why is it green? Well, because it's too special and important to be blue, of course. This mac and cheese is a special mac and cheese. This mac and cheese says, oh, blue? You want a blue box? No, no, you want a green box. We rise above the common crowd. We're unique. Get over yourself, green mac and cheese box. The mac and cheese inside you is exactly the same cheap instant pasta as all the other blue and white boxes that you claim to be your inferiors. Now, while a green mac and cheese box might think a little highly of itself, a purple mac and cheese box is the first one I'd really describe as pretentious. White cardboard suggests a lack of effort. Blue is the color a mac and cheese box should be, and green is a pathetically lame attempt to distinguish oneself from the competition, but purple. Purple, oh, purple is the color of kings. Purple means royalty. Behold, the purple mac and cheese box says, Gaze upon me! I am no mere mac and cheese. I am the king, the lord of the mac and cheese. Other macs and cheese tremble before me and bow, kneeling where I walk that they may kiss the ground I have trodden. Now, you might be asking, hey, MMS, if the purple mac and cheese is so full of itself that it's seemingly declaring itself royalty, why isn't it at the absolute top of the list? There's still a good couple minutes left in the video's progress bar. Actually, I was gonna ask if you'd taken your medication today. Fantastic question. See, the thing is, while the purple mac and cheese box styles itself the ruler of all mac and cheese, it's under no illusion as to what it is at its core. While calling itself the lord of the mac and cheese, it's still calling itself mac and cheese. Uh, well, of course it does. What else would it call itself? Well... Before we get to that, though, I want to make this quick detour to talk about the exception to the white box mentioned back in Serving 1. That exception is minimalist mac and cheese boxes. These boxes may be white, but instead of their white color being the result of overly humble, the humble to the point of self-deprecating, mindset, their whiteness is entirely intentional. The minimalist mac and cheese box is doing something even more pathetic than trying to be special. The minimalist mac and cheese box is trying to be artistic. 
You're not as fancy as you think you are, minimalist mac and cheese box. Calm yourself. Finally, we arrive at that most arrogant and pretentious, the most pompous and self-aggrandizing mac and cheese box there is. The mac and cheese box that thinks so highly of itself, it seems to even look down on the term mac and cheese. Behold and marvel, for this box says, oh, I'm not mac and cheese at all. No, don't call me that. That which is contained within this tan frame is no mere mac. Nay, this is macaroni and cheese. The beige macaroni box is so pretentious, so pompous, that it lies to both itself and you about what it is. You know that it's just instant mac and cheese, just like the blue box, the purple, the green, and even the white box. And deep down, it knows it too but it's desperate to convince you that no, no, it's not just instant mac and cheese. This is restaurant macaroni. See, look, look, this is gourmet macaroni, a macaroni and cheese dinner. This is what you would order at a, a quaint Italian bistro prepared by a real chef in a real kitchen. This is served in a, in a polished wooden bowl while you sit and read fine literature at an outdoor table, seeing the sights of Europe and surrounded by the language, culture, and leisure of the world. But in the end, it isn't. This isn't an elegant side dish. It's a cheap box of instant mac and cheese. It wasn't prepared by a chef. You made it in your microwave. It's not from an Italian bistro. It's an American imitation of an imitation of an imitation of something that a long time ago used to be Italian. And you're not reading fine literature. You're watching a YouTube video. This sad little box is deluding itself if it thinks otherwise. But hey, here's the thing. It shouldn't have to delude itself about what it is. What's wrong with watching YouTube videos? What's wrong with making food in your microwave? And seriously, what's wrong with instant mac and cheese? Nothing, nothing's wrong with instant mac and cheese. The beige mac and cheese box is so obsessed with proving what it's not that it's completely neglecting to really properly appreciate what it is. Because mac and cheese is good. We like mac and cheese. It's a comfort food for millions of people and with good reason. It's delightful. Obviously you shouldn't go overboard, don't have it for every meal if you can help it, but it's cheap, it's easy to make, and regardless of whether it comes in a white box or a blue one or a green, purple, or even a beige one, it tastes good. And we shouldn't deny ourselves a small amount of light joy in the increasingly overwhelming darkness that the world is slowly sinking into. So. I'm telling the beige mac and cheese box something a little similar to what I told the white one. Stop overcompensating. You know what pretentious means? When we call something pretentious, we say that it's pretending. Pretending to be something it's not, avoiding its real, true meaning in the name of an imagined grander one. So stop pretending, beige mac and cheese box. You don't have to pretend to have a grander meaning. You're meaningful enough just the way you are. So, why did I make this video? Special thanks to my Elder Manticore patrons, Parenthetical Catface and Jameson Kimball. If you'd like your name read aloud during the credits like these fine folks, or animated across the screen like these lovely people, my Patreon is in the description. That's what good mac and cheese sounds like!